Hey, what's up guys, your second favorite PE teacher, Denver, and these are the five things you need to be doing in playground mode if you want to be a pro. Even if it feels like Fortnite has a lot of combat, especially if you land in tilted towers all the time, you actually don't spend much time fighting or building in most of the games you play. As you know, playground mode is out and you need to be practicing these five things to get better fast, start getting more and more of those victory royales right now. Make sure you watch until the very end since I think the last one will probably help you the most and you guys aren't going to believe it, but Amazon partnered up with me to bring you this video and we are some of the first in the world to get to use the new Amazon Play and Shop. If you guys are Android, you spend a lot of time in your phones like me downloading apps, playing games, you need to download the Amazon App Store right now because guess what? you get 10% back in Amazon money on anything you spend. I don't even spend a lot getting little boosters and stuff, but when I do, I automatically get 10% of that right back to my Amazon account that I use all the time to shop. You can get electronics, music, movies, just about anything on Amazon. I probably sound so excited about this because I already got to start using it with some of my favorite apps like Hill Climb Racing, My Singing Monsters I love, and literally just any app on the Amazon App Store. So hurry, click the link in the description and download the App Store right now because it is only available for a limited time. To install it, just follow the directions on screen and about 10 seconds later, I was already set up. I was ready to go, it's easy stuff. So click the link now and show Amazon some love for sponsoring this video and let's get to the five things we need to be doing in playground mode. The first thing you guys wanna make sure that you work on is the standard box. You wanna use all pieces and parts except for the roof here. So you wanna start it with your stairs, wrap all the way around with your four walls, put a, put a flat piece, and then you can either wall first or you can stairs first. It doesn't matter, flat piece, stairs, or walls, just like that. You're just gonna do that over and over. Everybody knows this, everybody's getting pretty good at it, but what it does is it trains, it trains your fingers to switch between all three of the mostly used, uh, out, of the, out of the four different builds, the four mostly used ones. Now the rooftop is getting more valuable, so definitely keep the rooftop uh, handy and practice it as much as you want. Just keep doing that until you get high enough and you feel comfortable and, and fast enough with it. And remember, you can, as, you, as you're rotating, you, you can see here that I don't stick to it just one at a time, and you can just keep going faster and faster. Now, get up high enough, and then here's what I want you to do. I want you to edit all the way down. You can stand in one spot just like this. What you need to do is you need to practice what's called muscle memory. You need to teach your fingers and your brain how to interact without you even thinking about it. Now, it's up to you however you edit. Like, for me to get down here, obviously, I can just do this. I can also do it this way if I want to. It's totally fine. I mean, whatever, whatever you want to do, but just get really quick at it like this. That's okay if you mess up. You can see that I'm messing up too. You'll notice as you get further down, you'll get a little bit quicker at it each time. Keep doing that until you're all the way down. A little bit of lag, a little bit of ping definitely will affect you, but that's fine. You need to get as quick as you can at it. Uh, if you want to be like a pro like Nick 30 anybody like that, you can see all the way down. The more you do it, the faster you're going to get. The next tower I want you guys to practice is not like a fully supported one, a fully armored one. So what you need to do, if you know you're safe from all directions, but somebody maybe next to you is building up in a tower, you can definitely outbuild them just by doing this. Ramp, flat piece, ramp, flat piece, ramp, flat piece, ramp. That's all you're going to do. Just a flat piece and a ramp, just like this. Flat piece and ramp the whole way up. You're going to be anybody who's doing the standard tower just like this. Um, and again, once you get to the top, just edit down. But the thing about this one is it does not provide as much protection. So don't do it this tall. This is just for practice, but do not build it this tall. This is a terrible mistake. If you have other people around you uh, and you try to build it this tall, you're going to get shot down because again, at most places, let me see if I can drop down a little bit. At most places, it's only one thing of support. So like you dock out one thing of stairs, the whole thing is gone. Whereas this, you got to break through several. Next up, here's what I want you guys to practice. Of course, getting better is what's in mind. It's all about getting yourself a small leg up on the competition. I mean, people are getting really, really good at building. So we had the full box mode where we built up like this and we were fully supported. Then we, then we tried this right here with just a flat piece and a ramp, flat piece and a ramp, which is not very supported at all. Now we're going to kind of do uh, in between. And this is actually my favorite method. Obviously, that method uses way too many resources and as resources get less and less you don't want to use a lot so here's what this one looks like a lot of the time you're not even going to box yourself in so here's what it looks like full and one up full and then one up you can even go over the top if you want to 180 and one up 180 and one up 
180 and one up and that's it so let's go ahead and get down and actually let me show you guys a really cool way to get down i don't know who developed this method but it's amazing um it's the quickest way to get down let's say someone is shooting you down you don't have a jump pad a launch pad uh, bounce pads whatever you want to call them so this is all you do you're just going to jump off backwards and you're just going to wall 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 and then stairs now i took a little bit of damage try not to do it more than three what you want to do is you want to stay closer to this wall so let's go ahead and do it again and again it's it's about it's about getting down fast it's not about getting down and making it look pretty or anything and even if you take some damage i mean it's better than falling completely down so you can see how high up and we got down in just a matter of seconds so there's a couple different strategies that you can use so this is what this one looks like nowhere and i'm trying to look nowhere is it only one single shot like this one right here where if you shoot down only one over here you've got to shoot down at least two so we built several towers we got these two over here the old standard one that everybody used to use the really new this is definitely the newest one but again the least protected one and then this one right in the middle that i really love because it gives you a lot of options to move you don't have to you basically you're not going up like with this one it's just uh, with the with the ramp flat piece i mean people know what you're going to do of course the only way you can change it up is uh is is by changing the direction of the ramp but really it doesn't that doesn't do anything at all someone can shoot you really easy because it's really predictable now that we're really good at building towers, I want to show you a couple things. This is one that I just learned recently. Let's say someone's up in a super tall tower. Uh, we don't have any explosives. Their tower is like too wide, you know, so shooting it out wouldn't be the safest thing, especially, you know, if you're down like this, you guys ever been like that and you try to like build up. I mean, even that one right there, it's like you're you're super exposed, right? So it's it's really dangerous. So let's say you're coming up on this. And by the way, this is this is all how to push towers now. So we're good at we're good at building towers now we just need to learn how to push towers so watch this so stairs or you can use a roof and what you do is you rotate it so stairs or roof works because all you need is this angle right here so if somebody's up above you they can be shooting down shots the entire time and you're good to go whoops unless you do that but just uh, pivot back and forth just like this left and right you go right through the cracks you also get your pretty good protection from the sides too just because the 3d modeling i mean someone's got to be directly the side of you even if anybody is like not not quite to the side of you but even to the front i mean this over here i would consider the side of me but look at that as you're passing through you're you're much safer so just like this method right here if you don't want to put your stairs down and, and rotate them because maybe you get into a fight and you forget to rotate them you end up doing something like this and locking yourself in um so if you're good at, ro at rotating go ahead and use it that way other other than that if you're not using the roof piece a lot all you have to do is before you place a roof piece just pull it out and then just pop the first two just like that and then we can do the same exact thing just like this just like that all the way through just bob and weave that is it i mean it's a it's a great great i mean look at that it even covers from behind too so get ready to see this a lot more i know i know it's going to get more popular um until then use it until everybody else gets good at it just like just like every other strategy we've seen people get it down so we got to keep a leg up on the competition now speaking of if somebody's in these towers right here how do we get up to the tower let's say somebody's up on this rooftop we can use the method that we had to get up to to get up to this roof if somebody's shooting from this rooftop start shooting you can chase them in just like that by the time they actually break this and unless they have like a scar or something you're gonna be fine and once we get up here a lot of you guys are getting really good at ramp rushing a single ramp like this it's done don't ever use it again it's it's not good you're gonna get shot down way more times I, I still see people do this all the time and I'm telling you guys quit doing it it's the it's one of the worst things you could possibly do it leaves you exposed to almost and pretty much all sides you're gonna get shot down almost immediately the least that you can do is a ramp and a wall just like that all right it's so easy all you're doing is just two buttons and then pressing forward to run that's it you don't have to jump you don't have to look to other sides now this is great but a lot of time when you're ramping up somebody's going to be shooting from the side of you so you need a wall just like this so how do you do that we're just going to turn around and show you so it's ramp wall don't worry about i mean if you want to you can wall in the second one but just ramp two walls ramp two walls ramp two walls and if you want to you can add a little jumping and stuff it makes it it makes it a little a little harder to hit but that's it so just ramp wall wall ramp wall wall if you're not using builder pro yet get used to it i know i know it took me forever because i'm a clicker too i like just clicking my mouse every single time but honestly like if you get good at builder pro i mean it's it's so simple you just whip your controller around i mean it's it's so easy but again just practice this quick fall down one two three stairs jump off one two three stairs all right you're down to the ground you're safe you're good to go 25 minutes of this and i already feel a lot more comfortable you guys will too if you're not in playground mode and messing around all the time at least spending an hour a day just working on your editing your building skills and stuff like that you're doing it wrong you need to start doing that if you want to get better that is i'm not going to tell you what to do i'm not your mom but if you want to improve this is what you have to do now the next thing is the double ramp and you guys have seen this double ramp just ramp ramp wall wall get in the middle and it's as easy as this one right here it's as easy as this one just ramp ramp wall wall ramp ramp wall wall 
this most of the time will be just fine for you. And I know, I know you've seen Tifu do it. You've seen Nick A30 do it. A lot of people are getting into the ramps, floor piece, wall, ramp, floor, wall, ramp, floor, wall. And that's not bad and everything, but honestly, it's a little bit unnecessary. So check this out from the bottom. You can see why this would be so hard to shoot out like this. It would be so hard to shoot out because you can't get through. I mean, I've got a burst, but even with the scar. Now, here's what's important, though. There is no difference between this with the extra flat piece for, for protection and this when it comes to grenade launchers and rocket launchers. These were buffed pretty recently. I don't know if you guys know that, but if you have shot a rocket launcher or grenade launcher recently, they do damage like the C4. They will explode any of this. So in my opinion, unless, you, unless you're taking so much heat that you absolutely need to do this, this extra uh, floor under underneath your ramp, just do this one right here. This will work most of the time. Obviously, don't build it so high. Definitely don't go that high in the air. Now, if you guys want to take this to the next level, watch this one. So I'll build the, I'll build the flat piece here just so we can show you guys and get it going. Now, a lot of people are doing double ramps with the floor with your wall in front i mean this is a little bit unnecessary and i'll tell you why in a second but here's what it looks like so they go ramp ramp just like that wall ramp stairs ramp whoops i missed that one you can see that it's actually here let me let me just move this so so you kind of almost look like way down so as you come up ramp and then ramp just like that it'll hit floor wall look down ramp ramp floor wall we got a ramp right there that's actually really good <laughs> it gets so confusing if you want to get good at it that's fine you can i mean this here i'll show you what it looks like from underneath it's it's it actually looks pretty cool i can i can i can admit that this actually looks pretty cool now is this any better than those no and here's why no one's going to be be able to shoot through uh if you don't have the double ramp right so let's shoot this out no one's going to be able to shoot through two of these and especially if you double it like the like the t-food thing where you where you double it you got floors and walls just like that no one's going to be able to shoot through this anyways especially if you make it too wide but the main thing is a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher can shoot right through this so if i shoot this right here with a rocket launcher it breaks all of it so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how wide you make it if you're going up against somebody with a rocket launcher or grenade launcher does it look cool yes can you intimidate your opponents yeah, probably so. You can definitely intimidate your opponents because it looks really awesome. So the next thing, we talked about it a little bit with that tall tower is editing. Anytime you go to the top of something, get down using either the, the wall stair method backwards where you where you drop down backwards um, or edit all the way through. You're going to get good at it, I promise. If you guys are worried about not being good at editing, you want to be like Nick830, um, definitely just start editing. You're going to be able to get good at it very, very soon. He started before everybody else. Um, and that's why he's so good at it. He's had a lot of practice. Now, this one takes a little bit of setup, but it's so good. What you what you do is you just kind of make a, a flat walk out here just like this. And we can even put one right here. So it looks like this when you're all ready. I mean, obviously, that only takes like 10 seconds. Not a big deal. And what you're going to do, you can edit either a door and open it or you could just edit um, these four pieces right here. And actually, they disappeared for some reason. So these four pieces right here, you can edit out like that and make kind of the half archway or just the three and make that corner here. And it's going to it's going to get destroyed. So if you if you're worried about saving your wood just do the the archway like this now you're gonna do this as fast as you can try it without sprinting first do this over and over and over you're gonna be so good at editing walls you you will have no competition so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna start i'm gonna use the i'm gonna use the four pieces like this so just so i can save a little wood and it looks like this oh see so you're gonna mess up that's okay just like that. So if you guys can get good and you can get fast, I mean, just just do that over and over and over. We can just practice uh, quick flicks to the side and stuff like that. Man, just like that. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. These are all things that I want to make sure um, that I get good at. I hope you guys are practicing this too. We have playground mode. And as fun as playground mode is to mess with with certain things, building is the number one thing that you should be using it for. Um, so definitely, definitely get good at it, guys. I mean, the, the more you do this, and, and even you guys who you know see my streams and stuff and my videos, see like that. I mean, just changing direction and stuff. You just get in here, you just start messing around. You're gonna you're gonna get so much better, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I'll be reading a lot of the comments. Hopefully, I can give you guys little hearts too. It depends on how much time I have to read your comments. So uh, also, let's check out the new dance oh that's so sweet oh my gosh click like click subscribe if you guys haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching